Shopify. Today we're talking about kidney stones. If you've ever had one, you know how miserable they are. I have never had a kidney stone. However, I have given birth naturally. Thank you, Victoria. So I understand what it's like to pass a kidney stone, which is about the same pain, I think. So kidney stones, the number one symptom with it is pain. We call it renal colic. So it's flank pain in the back. Um, we also see sometimes people will actually pee blood. We call it hematuria. The hematuria doesn't have to be macroscopic, meaning we can see it without a microscope. It can also be microscopic, which most people do have a little bit of hematuria. Um, there are a few things with prevention of stones that can help. We want you to increase your fluids, and this will help a stone pass as well. A good rule of thumb is you wanna take your weight, cut it in half, and that's how many ounces you should be drinking. So if you are 200 pounds, then you need to drink 100 ounces of fluid a day, which is actually a lot. You wanna um, eat less salt, you wanna eat more fruits and vegetables, and there, most stones are something called calcium oxalate. And so oxalate is found in things like spinach, almonds, rhubarb. And so patients always wonder, should I cut those things out of my diet? And you shouldn't, but you have to eat calcium with them because that's what helps it not coagulate into a stone. The other interesting thing is grapefruit juice. So you want to have no grapefruit juice in your diet if you actually are prone to stones. Drinking just one glass of grapefruit juice a day increases your risk of stones by 44%, which is a ton. There's some interesting data on citric acid. So it's actually lemon juice. If you drink four ounces of lemon juice a day, it will decrease your, your incidence of stone as well. So what do we do for stones? First of all, we want you to increase your fluids. There's medicine that we can give you that will help you to pass the stone. And then really pain medicines like anti-inflammatories will help. Let's talk about the size of stones. So some stones will pass, most stones will pass on their own, but there are some that won't. If your stone is less than two millimeters wide, the average time to pass is eight days. If it's two to four millimeters, the average time to pass is 12 days. If it's four to six millimeters, it takes 22 days to pass. If it's greater than 10 millimeters, it probably won't pass on its own. And so we'll have to go out there and do something called lithotripsy through urology to get it out. If you do have renal colic or you notice that you're peeing blood, you should be seen. Oftentimes, if it's your very first stone, we do a CAT scan to see where the stone is in the body. And then we'll give you a strainer so that you can pee and catch it because we want to make sure it is calcium oxalate. If you have repeated stones, you should see urology. There are a few medicines that we can use to keep you from having them over and over. If you have a stone, good luck. Have a good day. We'll see you next time.